Hey guys, Mars Singing here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so, I made a guide a little while ago on how to use an auto clicker app in order to get through the 999 stages of the All Star EZA because it is a pain in the ass grind that nobody really wants to do. Um, I had a bunch of people in the comments like complaining about why would you use this tool? Like, you know, surely, you know, you want to play the game. It's like, yeah, sure, I want to play the game. When it's fun to play, I don't want to play 999 stages of an event where the first like 600 stages are basically all just one shots. Very annoying grind, basically just a time sink. But in that video, I talked about a way that I showed you step by step how to set up the auto clicker to do easy A's on repeat. Um, because obviously every time you go into an easy A stage, the game doesn't remember that you've, well, it doesn't keep the fact that you've put it on auto on the attempt before, so you have to actually put it on auto every single time. So in that guide, I made a step-by-step -step explanation of how to do that, and while going through all the steps, I mentioned in that video, you can quite easily, by changing the steps slightly, set this up for link leveling. And I said in the video, I feel like if you watch the video and you watch all the steps, you can kind of work out for yourself how you would then set that up for link leveling because there are certain steps you would not need to do because link leveling, when you replay stages, the game does remember that it's on auto all the time. Um, but some of the steps would be slightly different. But I figured people would be able to get it done, you know, without a full step-by-step -step guide. But then a lot of people did ask in the comments for me to actually do a step-by-step -step guide. So we're going to put that out today for you guys. Um, this can be used for link leveling or just replaying any like story stages that have auto like if you need to farm a certain thing from a stage a certain number of times so another thing this could be really useful for is when prime battle lrs come out and you need to farm the stage for 777 medals so let me mention straight away because we're already two minutes into the video now that this app only works on android and i do not no, an iOS alternative. I imagine half the comments on the last video are people asking if it works on iOS or what the iOS equivalent of this app is. And no, it does not work on iOS. And no, I do not know if there is an iOS alternative. This is Android only. The number of people, there wasn't that many, right? There was a lot of people asking if it worked on iOS. But I got a couple of comments from people crying about the fact that I didn't mention right at the beginning that it was Android only and they watched the video before they found out. Even though I think I checked it after one person's comment, I mentioned it like four minutes into the video. So we cut that time in half this time. We got to just past the two minute mark where I mentioned it. So it is Android only. So, okay. So first of all, you obviously want to pick your stage. Now people ask this all the time. On global, because we don't have the new quest stages, when it comes to link leveling, you either want to do Area 7, Assault of the Saiyans, Stage 10, Saiyans Pride, so 7-10, basically. Or you want to do 8, Merciless Freezer, Stage 9, Raging Battle, so 8-9. Now, the difference between the two stages is that 8-9 has a slightly lower chance, on average, for you to get link levels, but completing 8-9 is way faster it takes like half the time so if you're somebody who doesn't care how much stamina you use if you use stones to refresh to do link leveling technically eight nine you're more likely to get more link levels up in the same amount of time because you'll have completed the stage more times like say you leave it running for like an hour you'll complete eight nine way more times than you'll complete seven ten but seven ten statistically is slightly better and it takes longer so Obviously, that means more time till you have to refresh with st with stones and or meat items and stuff like that. So for me personally, I still do 710, even though I do spend stones on link leveling. I think at the moment I probably spend between like three and six stones a day, depending on how crazy I go link leveling. So I do stage 710. So you have to get the app. I guess I should have mentioned this already, but the app is, I mentioned it in the previous video, you have to download it from a link. It is not in the app store. So the link is in the description of the video. I'll also put the link to Sora's tweet that was explaining the app. Because shout out to Sora. Um, he was the one that tweeted out about it and how it works. So you can see here, I called this one Turles Link Level. Because when I set it up, 
Global still had the uh, Turles story event that actually had the best link level stage, but I might as well... Wait, why did it not... Okay. Maybe it needs to refresh again before it changes. So, here is... Oh, my God. How do I get to the actual... Oh, I need to open it first, right. So, you have to open the app first. Now, if we go into the steps... I couldn't be bothered to name them all properly, so I literally just put numbers, because after I'd set it up the first time, I already knew what they were going to be. So by looking at this on the screen, this obviously doesn't tell you anything. So we are going to go through setting it up from scratch, step by step, uh, from the very beginning. So, we'll turn this off. Make sure we actually click on the right app this time. So, we're going to add a new scenario. So we're going to press the add button. Um, I already called it link leveling, so let's just call it LL video. Um, and then OK. So we're going to use link level video. So start recording. Uh, I mentioned this in the previous video as well. When you do this, it drops you back to your like phone dashboard. So obviously you just click on Dokon again and it comes back up. So here we are. We want to go into the stage because this is the screen from where it's going to repeat, right? Because every time you beat the stage and you click to try again, it takes you back to this screen. So this is where you want to be from the start screen. So this is my current link level team. I've still got two metal coolers that need to go and then a bunch of random units that I don't really care about. So you have here, I'll move this down so you guys can see it because you can, by clicking on the four arrows at the bottom, you can move this around to be anywhere on your phone screen that you want. So we'll keep it here so you guys can actually see all the buttons. And the third button down is this one with the three bars. You want to click that and that brings up the event list. So as you can see, there are no events. So we have to click on new to create a new one. So we click the plus sign and then we're going to call this one start. So this is the very first one. So now we have to put in the condition because the way this works, if you haven't watched the previous video, is it works by recognizing images on the screen. And then when it recognizes that image, you can then tell it to press somewhere on the screen. So this makes it much, much better than one of those apps that just like clicks the screen in a certain place, say like every 10 seconds. Because you know what Dokon is like, you, if any other screen comes up in between or whatever, then it's not going to work. So all conditions, we click the start with the plus button and this gives us this I, uh, menu here with the move around, cancel, or this square icon at the top. So we click the square icon, and what this does is this is where we put in what we want the app to look for in order to click the screen. So on this first one, we literally just want it to find the start button. So you can make the window smaller. Sometimes it's really annoying to actually click on the edge to get it to shrink, but we'll just put it over here because we only need to see the start button. And then we'll click the tick. So when you see the start button is the condition, so we press OK. And then the action that we want it to take when it sees the start button is we want it to click. Uh, and we want it to click on just press duration one, just one click. And um, click position. Uh, on condition, we want it to click uh, on position, I should say. And then we want it to click here on the actual start button. And you can move that around as long as it's just on the start button. And then you press the tick, press OK, and then there we go. That is step one. So step one is press the tick. So now what you need to do, because you have to go through the stage once to set each step, right? So that it can then run on repeat. So we press the tick, and then we press start ourselves. Now, it should already be on auto, I think. If it's not, you want to make sure it is. So yeah, mine is not on auto map. It's only on auto battle. So we'll put it on auto map so that it will play through. And then what I'll do is I'm going to cut until it gets near to the end. Because obviously 710, it can take a little while to get through. So we're going to cut until we get right to the end of the actual stage here. Okay, so here we are finishing off the Vegeta fight at the end. And then moving on to the end of the stage. And this is where we can set up the next step. Because obviously this is what's going to run while you're gone. You run all the way through the stage, uh, get to this point. And then we have to wait until the next screen. Because basically, the way this is working, to really sum it up, is every time you're getting to a screen where you need to click to continue, the, we're getting the app to do that for us, right? So this is the result screen. So now we need to add a step two. So again, I'm just going to call it, for the purposes of this, I'm going to call it two. Um, you can call it anything you like, obviously. Um, 
give them names based on specifically what the step is so you don't get confused if you want to like edit it later or something like that so the condition is obviously going to be to click the square again to click on the ok button once again oh sorry to click on the attempt again i should say because we want to automatically loop over and over again so trying to make this box a little bit smaller because we don't want it there we go so we get the attempt again so okay and then we want it to click uh, on position and then click on attempt again so whenever it sees the attempt again button it will click the attempt again button so press okay and then press the tick so then we press attempt again and then we need to put another one in here so please confirm do you want to consume 14 stamina to play the stage again so we want to add a step three because yes we do want to spend 14 stamina and complete the stage again so let us go for i guess we could what we could do here is we could add it now you can either do it for the okay button you could do it on the like please confirm if you do it for the stamina and then you, you try and use this on a stage that costs a different amount of stamina, then it might not work because it's obviously trying to recognize what you've put in that box. So we can, for example, put it on the please confirm. You can put it on the OK if you want to. Either or, it doesn't really matter. But we'll put it on please confirm for this example. So please confirm. When that comes up, we want it to click on position the OK button and then tick. So OK. And then OK. So tick that. We press the OK button. So that's what it's going to do next. And boom, it brings you back to this screen. Now that is literally all you have to do if you want it to run until you've run out of stamina. The only other thing you now need to do is if you want it to use a stone to refresh your stamina and then keep going, you need to add a step for that as well. If you don't want it to do that, you actually don't need to do anything else. You can now just run this the way it is. Because when it gets to the run where you run out of stamina, the prompt that comes up at the end is different. So then it's going to ask you, do you want to spend a stone or use a meat item or whatever? And then you're going to have to add extra steps. So if you don't want to do that, that's it. You're good to go now. You're, that's it. You can now just link level and it will go until you run out of stamina. So I'm going to let this run until I run out of stamina. And then I will add in the bit at the end to show you how to add that extra step so that you can refresh your stamina as well. But if all you want to do is run until you run out of stamina, then that's it, you're good to go. And it will just, when you come back to your phone, if you've left it to one side or something like that, it will be on that screen where it's tried to attempt it again, but then it's come up with the prompt saying you need to use a stone or a meat item or whatever to refresh your stamina. So if you don't want to do refreshes, you're now good to go. Just remember when the uh, app is running, it does use quite a bit of battery power. Your phone can heat up quite a bit. Normally, I just leave mine plugged into the charger and leave it on the little like phone stand that I've got that I use for recording. And then, yeah, like for example, yesterday I went out for probably about two hours to run some errands and stuff. And when I came back, obviously I have mine set up to have the extra step to refresh stamina. And so I'd got quite a decent bit of uh, progress on these units done. So anyway, if that's all you need to go, then off you go. Like this, like the video, and I'll add in the extra step here to show you guys how to add the stamina refresh. Okay, so here we are. The app is running, as you can see, because the pause icon is up at the top instead of play. So the app is running, and we are finishing off a run of 710, and I will not have enough stamina to do the next one. And there we go. So the app's going to click to attempt again, but... Now we have to restore stamina instead of... Because remember, before the extra step we added was that it was looking for the please confirm. So we need to pause the thing running because, you know, it's not going to do anything now. And then we need to add a new step. So we can call this one refresh... If I can actually spell. Refresh stamina. Okay. And then we'll add the condition to look for the bit that says restore stamina. Because that's what we want it to pick up on, right? So we'll put the bar there. So now it's looking for restore stamina. If it finds that, then we want it to click. And we want it to click on the OK button. So press OK. OK. And then you can see if we press play on the actual app to start running again. There you go. It clicks the button. 
And then we need to add in a step for stamina restored because that is an extra step that it adds as well. So let's put stamina done. And then add a condition. We'll add the, uh, we'll just look for the stamina has been restored. Oh, man, it's so annoying sometimes with my uh, fat fingers, I guess, trying to click on the <laughs> right bit. There we go. I mean, I've got perfectly normal fingers, but you know how it is. So stamina has been restored and then click on position. Okay. Okay. And then we can play the app again. So it clicks OK, and then boom. We're right back into the normal restart the stage by pressing OK when it gets onto the Team Select screen. So there you go. That is how to fully automate link leveling using the AutoClicker app on Android only. If you set up these extra steps that we showed you just now at the end, you can just keep link leveling ad infinitum. It will use your stones. Now, the one thing you may need to do, and this is different per phone, so I can't tell you how to do this specifically, but... I had to do it on my phone where the screen will dim after a certain amount of time. I think mine was set to like 10 minutes or something. Um, if the screen dims, the auto clicker will stop working. So I can't tell you how to do it on your own phone, but I changed mine so that the screen never dims. So now technically, if I really wanted to, I could set up a new team of like fresh link level units, get this app to start running leave the phone plugged into the charger, and then I could just go to sleep for like seven hours. And then when I wake up seven hours later, I'll have probably used like four or five stones. I have a lot of stamina, so obviously it takes a lot of runs before I have to refresh. But yeah, I could wake up and it'll have just been link leveling nonstop that entire time. So I see people complain a lot when it comes to link leveling that they don't have time to do it. But if you set this up, and like I say, leave it actually plugged into your charger, you can link level while you're asleep, basically. So there you go. So that's how you set up the link level. All it is technically, as I said at the beginning, is you're setting up a script that is replaying the stage over and over again. So you can do this for Prime Battle LR farms. You can do this for Dokkan events, although obviously, you know, you only need to do it 11 times to get the medals. But you could set this up and then literally just go off for like half an hour or so and come back and you'll have done most of the runs or an hour or whatever. Say you're going to the gym for an hour or whatever you can set it up and by the time you come back you'll have all the medals especially if there's a side banner unit so you have to run the event 16 times so yeah this can get this done for you and i didn't mention earlier in the video this is another question a bunch of people asked so i should have mentioned it already is no you cannot get banned for using this it isn't a mod for the game it's just an app that clicks the screen for you so the way I described it in comments when people were asking me about it last time is it's pretty much just the equivalent of if I went off to the gym now for an hour, but somebody else came over and was just pressing the screen for me. That's all it is, is the app is just pressing the screen for you. It's not modding the game or anything. So there you go. So hopefully you guys find this useful. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, and look forward to uh, lots of full link level units. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Make sure you check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store as well. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.